But as the price of meat and dairy continues to spiral, suppliers of vegan products are there struggling to keep up with the burgeoning demand. Proponents of the diet say it's no longer a niche option. Ellie Pugh with more. Ten years ago, the Vegan Expo was a few stalls in a community hall. Now it's mushroomed to a point where even this new venue is bursting at the seams. But in the last year or two, the buzz around has just gone boom, and so the word vegan now, suddenly people are like proud to call themselves vegan. Memberships at vegan and vegetarian groups have swelled nationwide. That growth on display today. We put as many stallholders in here as we could, and we completely filled the place and could probably have filled it like twice over. Many here, recent converts. I used to be the maid, fisherman and hunter. And... I just don't do any of that anymore. This latest wave of new vegans has partly stemmed from this. This makes animal agriculture the number one contributor to human-caused climate change. High-profile Netflix docos like What the Health and Cowspiracy. Uh, I watched Cowspiracy and then I went vegan. I was watching the movie Cowspiracy and it suddenly hit me like this is what I could do. With interest in veganism on the rise, so too is the demand for meat-free alternatives. And companies showing here today say business is booming like never before. In the last three years, our turnover has doubled every year and that's going to happen again this year. So the demand for real food has definitely increased, I think. And retailers agree. Sales for plant-based products like veggie burgers, tofu and falafel have soared 20% in the past year. And with younger people adopting veganism at the fastest rate, the sector's anticipating healthy growth. Ali Pugh, One News.